of love ceremonies for Sunday night, the second month. As we begin now, I'd like to recite the powers of love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Because love is all you need. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. We are open for business. <laughs> Do, do I have the, the bard um, somewhere here? Uh, I can go get him. He's yeah. out in the truck. No, that, that, that's fine. It's, oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. And you'll find the Book of Lies over there, too. I, I, I believe I brought one myself. What a quinkadink. Quinkadinky. Now, I, I have it. These are, these are first edition 1907s. Yes, sir, indeed. Well, I, okay, re, re, but they, they, are, they are vintage material. No? They are indeed, sir. Sweet, do you scold? I'd rather have you scold than from another earn a million kisses. The tiger rapture on your skin's Greek gold is worth a million smiles of sunken cold and arctic archangelic passion rolled from any other woman. Heaven misses the half of God's delight, who doth not see some lightning anger dart like love and strike into the sacred heart its eternal glee of scathing tortures, worth hell's agony to melt. Ah, sweet, I know. In foam and free, luster of love redoubled, come to me, I will avenge that anger like to like with gentle fires of smitten love will burn into your beauty with the athletic rush of conquering godhead and your cheek shall burn from red of wrath to shame's adorable blush and so in tears and raptures mix the cup of dreadful wine we are wont to drain and well needs but one glance to lift the liquor up one angry grip to wake me and to swell the anguish of rapture come to sup the liquid lava of the lake of hell. This is written by a sexual pioneer, the likes of the great Aleister Crowley. His love songs. The Kiss. I behold in a mist of hair involving subtle shadows and shapes of ivory beauty, gray, blue eyes from the spherid opal eyelids look me through and make me a deep contentment, slow, dissolving desire. We sit so silent, death might sweep over sleep with flowers of cypress, gathered myriad blossoms, prosperinas, stir us not nor a whisper steal through love trance. Still we sit, and your head lies calm and splendid, shadowed, curve of an arm about it whispering. Still your bosom respires in sighs of silver. Still one hand, oh me, quivers close, caresses, touches not. Oh, a breath of sudden sadness hides your face as a mist grows up a mountain mist is over my eyes, and darkness gathers deep on violet inset deep of eye pits. Neither holds in the sight of a lovely vision slow. The mist is dissolved in the wintry sunlight. So sight glimmers across the gulf of sorrow. You the lily, and I the rose redoubled. Bend, soft, swayed by a slow, spontaneous music. Bend, to kiss, caught, held hard in a crystal second, swiftly touch, just touch the appealing floral sisters, brush no bloom off the blossom, lift no lip gleam off the purple and rose, caressing cressets, flames of flickering love, they draw asunder thus, the motionless thus, for ages, hither, a kiss, Alistair Crowley, to a man, most of his early sonnets are written to men, or a man. This one, of course, refers to 
how age seeps in and seems to take away all that beauty might give us. And yet, he encourages this man to beget children so that hopefully the beauty will live on. When forty winters have, shall besiege thy brow and dig deep trenches in thy beauty's field, thy youth's proud livery, so gazed on now, will be a tottered weed of small worth held. Then being asked, where all thy beauty lies, where all the treasure of thy lusty days, to say, within thine own deep sunken eyes, were an all-eating shame and thriftless praise. How much more praise deserve thy beauty's use, if thou could answer, this fair child of mine shall sum my count and make my old excuse, proving his beauty by succession thine. This were to be new made when thou art old, and see thy blood warm when thou feelst it cold. Shakespeare. Of sponsors in this third annual salute to love, starting of course with Robert is here. Thanks to your, your that's uh, where you got your bright sunshiny face today, Rick. Everglades Hostel, where we are presently, the First National Bank, over on 15th and Chrome or 4th and Chrome. 15th. 15th. 15th and Chrome. Miami-Dade Community College, Homestead Campus, Renaissance Antiques, the Homestead Sun, Main Street Cafe. Wonderful, wonderful tofu, tofu sandwiches. Homestead Main Street and the Village Pawn. And of course, Enigma Players Productions with our chief conspirator, Rick Spizak. This again is uh, quoting from, uh, from the sonnets of William Shakespeare who writes that being written down, having your beauty praised in his lines of poetry is a species of immortality. Who will believe my verse in time to come if it were filled with your most high deserts? Though yet heaven knows it is but a tomb which hides your life and shows not half your parts. If I could write the beauty of your eyes and in fresh numbers number all your graces, the age to come would say this poet lies. Such heavenly touches ne'er touched earthly faces. So should my papers, yellowed with their age, be scorned like old men of less truth than tongue, and your true rights be termed a poet's rage and stretched meter of an antique song. But were some child of yours alive that time, you should live twice in it and in my rhyme. The Bard. Oh, many a time for love's sake. This is that wonderful time of the year we get to praise romantic love. Praise romantic love. And some of us have, have done all sorts of crazy things for romantic love, including sleepless nights, of which William Shakespeare was no stranger. You ever fall in love so bad that you know you should go to sleep, you know you need the sleep because you've got an early work day in the morning, but you start thinking about the one you love and your eyes pop open. Weary with toil, I haste me to my bed. The dear repose for limbs with travel tired. But then begins a journey in my head to work my mind when body's work expired. For then my thoughts from far where I abide intend a zealous pilgrimage to thee and keep my drooping eyelids open wide, looking on darkness which the blind do see. Save that my soul's imaginary sight presents thy shadow to my sightless view, which, like a jewel hung in ghastly night, makes black night beauteous and her old face new. Lo thus, by day my limbs, by night my mind, for thee and for myself no quiet find. I wanted to bring some material with a little, uh, a little additional depth for your generous and gentle comprehension. And uh, I will first read you something of this. It's entitled, uh, The Book of Lies. The point of which being that there is only so much you can actually say of truth. And that beyond that, something else. 
This is number nine called the Branks. Being is the noun, form is the adjective. Matter is the noun, motion is the verb. Wherefore hath being clothed itself with form? Wherefore hath matter manifest itself in motion? Answer not, O silent one, for there is no wherefore, no because. The name of that is not known. The pronoun interprets, that is, misinterprets it. Time and space are adverbs. Duality begat the conjunction. The conditioned is the father of the preposition. The article also marketh division. But the interjection is the sound that endeth in the silence. Destroy, therefore, the eight parts of speech. The ninth is nigh unto truth. This also must be destroyed before thou enterest into the silence. Om. I want to offer you one of my favorite, favorite poems. It's opened right there in the other book. <laughs> Yo! This is called... Yo! Him to Pan. Thrill with Liz some lust of the light. Old man, my man, come careering out of the night of Pan. Eo Pan! Eo Pan! Eo Pan! Come over the sea from Sicily, from Arcady, roaming as Bacchus with fawns and pards, nymphs and satyrs for thy guards. On a milk white ass, come over the sea to me! To me, come with Apollo in bridal dress, shepherdess and pythoness, come with Artemis, silken shod, and wash thy white thigh, beautiful god, in the moon of the wood on the marble mount, the dippled dawn of the amber fount, dip the purple of passionate prayer in the crimson shrine, the scarlet snare, the soul that startles in eyes of blue. To the watch thy wantonness weeping through the tangled grove, the gnarled bowl of the living tree that is spirit and soul, and body and brain come over the sea. Eo pan, eo pan, devil or God, to me, to me, my man, my man, come with trumpets sounding shrill over the hill, come with drums low muttering from the spring, come with flute and come with pipe, am I not ripe? I who wait and writhe and wrestle with air that hath no bowel to nestle, my body weary of empty clasp, strong as a lion, sharp as an asp. Come, O oh come, I am numb with the lonely lust of devildom. Thrust the sword through the galling fetter, all devourer, all begetter. Give me the sign of the open eye, the token erect of the thorny thigh, the word of madness and mystery. Eo pan, eo pan, eo pan, 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 pan. I am a man. Do as thou wilt, as the great God can. O pan, eo pan, eo pan, eo pan, pan. I am the. S I am awake in the grip of the snake. The eagle slashes with beak and claw. The gods withdraw. The great beast come. Eo pan. I am born to death on the horn of the unicorn. Eo Pan, I am Pan. Eo Pan, Pan, Pan. I am thy mate, I am thy man. Goat of thy flock, I am gold, I am God. Flesh to thy bone, flower to thy rod. With the hooves of steel, I race on the rocks through solstice stubborn to equinox. And I rave and I rape and I rip and I rend. 
everlasting world without end, mannequin maiden, maenad man, in the might of Pan, Eo Pan, Eo Pan, 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 Eo Pan. A subtle piece. Son, be this thy script. The severing light the eye is blind. By palm and pagoda, enchanted or shadowed, I lie in the light of stars that are bright beyond the suns of all the poets have vaunted. In the deep breathing amorous bosom of the forests of Amazon might, by palm and pagoda enchanted. By spells that are murmured and rays of my soul strongly flung, never daunted. By gesture of tracery, traced with the wan dappled white, I summon the spirits of earth from the gloom they for ages have haunted. O woman of deep red skin, carved hair like the teak, O oh, delight of my soul, in the hollows of earth, how my spirit hath taunted. Away, I am here. I am laid to the breast of the earth in the dusk of the night by palm and pagoda enchanted. The polished silver flings me back, dominant brow and eye of bronze, a curling beard of vigorous black and dusky red of desert suns burn in my cheeks, who saith me nay, who reigns in Israel today. Samaria in well-ordered ranks of houses stands in honored peace. Sweet nourishment from Kenna's banks flows, and the corn and vine increase. In two pitched fields, the Syrian hordes fled broken from our stallion swords. Ay me, but that was life, I see. Now from that hill, the ordered plain, the serried ranks like foam flung free, long billowed, flashing on the main, past the eyes grip their legions roll, anguish of death upon my soul. For sheltered by the quiet hill, like two small flocks of kids that wait, what is loved is not hereafter. Present mirth hath present laughter. What's to come is still unsure. In de delay there lies no plenty. Then come and kiss me, sweet and twenty. Youth's a stuff will not endure. <clears throat> what is love? Tis not hereafter. Present mirth hath present laughter. What's to come is still unsure. In delay there's life, there lies no plenty. Then come kiss me, sweet and twenty. Youth's a stuff will not endure. It's Shakespeare saying, get it while it's young, I think. Um, when that I was a little tiny boy, with a hey-ho, the wind and the rain. A foolish thing was but a toy, for the rain it raineth every day. But when I came to man's estate, with a hey-ho, the wind and the rain, Against knaves and thieves, men shut their gate. For the rain, it raineth every day. But when I came, alas, to wife, with a hey-ho, the wind and the rain, by swaggering could I, I never thrive. For the rain, it raineth every day. But when I came unto my beds, with a hey-ho, the wind and the rain, with toss pots still and drunken heads, for the rain, it raineth every day. 
galaxy be the air of which I breathe and life comes forth from me. Be the light to show my way and I become a star to illuminate the heavens. Yes, my love for you travels quite far. Be the strains of a melody I hear upon this day and I become a symphony the world will hear me play. For you're the source of all I am and life without you near is but a great abysmal void. I am nothing without you, my dear. This one's called the Eternal Love. And upon my final hour, when my life source starts to fade, when the gleam within my eyes begins to ebb, and my last breath is upon me, when my last thoughts flash like final Im images departing as my soul prepares for flight, and I start heading toward the light, I shall utter your name. For your memory will be with me during that final moment, just as my thoughts of you have been my constant companions throughout each and every day. And my love for you shall transcend the eons of time and space, just as it has spanned across the years of my life. And do tonight's comedy, which I think uh, I wanted to share with you because it, it, uh, it addresses a different kind of love uh, the love of a person for his country, or, for those of you more cynical, a love of a person. And uh, speaking of power, I, I want to mention one thing. Uh, I've been producing this festival, Salute to Love, for three years. And I have to tell you, there is one simple reason that I do this. You know, when you're in love, you try to give the person that you love, the best that you have, the finest thing you can give. I'm an artist, I'm a writer, uh, I'm a producer, I, I invent things, I